Shared decision making. Shared decision making is when patients and health professionals work together to make choices about a patient's care. If you're a patient, you have the right to be involved in making choices about your medical treatment, the medicines you take, and any operations you have. Your needs and preferences will be taken into account and it will be a joint decision with the health professionals about what is best. Shared decision making means ensuring a treatment choice is right for you, taking into account not just your clinical condition, but also what's important to you. Studies have shown that when people are involved in decisions about their care, they have fewer regrets, they report better relationships with health professionals, decisions are made more effectively, and their health outcomes improve. Do I have the right to share decision making? Yes, you have a legal right to be involved in decisions about your care or treatment. No two people are the same. The professionals caring for you need to know what matters the most to you. For instance, would you prefer the fast acting treatment or have the least potential side effects? Do I get a say in what treatment I have? Yes, this could be as simple as whether you want to get more active or take some medication. It can also cover more complex issues like choosing between chemotherapy or surgery. Who gets the final say? You do. Your health professional may give you advice. If they do, it's worth asking them why they think one treatment is better for you over another. But they cannot put pressure on you and the final decision on whether to go ahead with the treatment or not is yours. It's worth knowing that your health professional is not obliged to carry out any treatment that they consider inappropriate or unnecessary. If you feel a treatment option is not right for you, then you should let your health professional know as soon as possible. So what happens next? Your health professional should make sure you understand the information you are given. Before you see your health professional, these are some things you might want to consider. Write down any questions you want to ask. Think about what you want to achieve as a result of a treatment. Are there any specific concerns you have regarding your treatment plan? How does your health condition impact your daily life and what quality of life will you have? How much information do you want about your condition and treatment options? Take someone you trust if you feel you need support. Get them to take notes. Let them know if you need the information presented differently. If there is a word that you cannot understand, ask them to write it down and explain it. Tell them how much you want to be involved in decisions. Check what will happen next and when. And finally, ask for the name and number or email of someone you can get in touch with if you have any questions or concerns. Four questions to ask when considering your treatment. Bran. B. What are the benefits? R. What are the risks? A. What are the alternatives? And N. What if I do nothing? Are there any exceptions? There are rare occasions when it is not possible or in your best interest for health professionals to agree your treatment with you. These are in an emergency when doctors need to act straight away, if you lack capacity to make decisions, or if you are being treated under some sections of the Mental Health Act. For more information on shared decision making, please visit www.patients-association.org.uk and search shared decision making.